Mind shortcuts, what is Benjamin Franklin effect? If we help someone we don't like, thanks to this effect we start to perceive them more positively. This is an example of what is called cognitive dissonance, which creates tension within the mind by trying to hold two opposing states in the mind. And the brain then tries to resolve this state to create harmony. Mind shortcuts, Benjamin Franklin effect, example. Claire is at the job under a lot of pressure thanks to her supervisor. She often gives her demanding work with very tight deadlines and this leads to a lot of stress for Claire. The cause of this behavior is probably tension or perhaps resentment between the two parties. Claire would very much like to change this situation and develop a much better relationship with her boss. She thinks of asking her boss for help in solving an Excel task because her boss is very good at it. Over time, these requests become reasonably repetitive, always involving small requests for help. As time passes, for unknown reasons, the relationship between Claire and her supervisor begins to improve more and more. What could be the cause of improvement? Mind shortcut, Benjamin Franklin effect, how is it created? Today's science work with three views of the reason for the Benjamin Franklin effect. The first is called cognitive dissonance, or the holding in the mind of two contradictory facts. For example, we dislike someone and we help them. Inside our mind, we perceive this as an internal tension, and our brain tries to resolve it, so that there is no internal tension. That means we either believe one or the other. The second theory is called self-perception. We observe ourselves, our actions, and form an explanation of who we are accordingly. In other words, we look at our actions and our brain creates a story of who we are based on those actions. So if we help another person, it doesn't make sense that we don't like them, why else would we help them? The final theory is consistency in behavior. She believes that our self-perception is based on what we think of ourselves and what we do. And in order to achieve stability in our self-perception, we tend to be consistent in what we do. In other words, if we have chosen to help someone in the past, it increases the chance that we will repeat similar behavior. Mind shortcuts, Benjamin Franklin effect, what to watch out for. Once we help someone, we automatically create the precondition for building a warmer relationship and see the other person in a more positive light. This is fine, provided that this phenomenon is used in a positive way. However, if someone with a long, troubled history asks us for help, we should be very and at the very least verify their intentions. This phenomenon can also be used in the case of sales. As we begin to like the other person we are seeing for the first time in our lives more than is normal for us, again, it's wise to be wary of signing an unfavorable contract or buying a product we don't really need. Mind shortcut, Benjamin Franklin effect, how can we use it? If we have a strained relationship with our supervisor, by asking for help we can sway him or her more to our side and start to improve the relationship step by step. It doesn't have to be a work relationship of course, this effect can be used anywhere. It can also be used the other way around. If we don't like someone and we want to start changing this situation, in turn, we can decide to help him or her and thus begin the journey to improve the relationship. Basically, we can see this phenomenon as a kind of Trojan horse for improving and building relationship or just resolving conflicts.